At Hobart's Rosny College, Armadeo Ambrosino is on his way to class. Hey, Armadeo. He weaves his way through the classroom and parks himself next to his classmates. These students know the face looking back at them. Armadeo just can't always be there in person. Uh, this one is the uh, masked owl. The 17-year-old lives with cerebral palsy and quadriplegia and often can't attend school. So he and his mother Jane learn from home thanks to a special robot being trialled in Tasmania. With his mum's help, he describes how the robot helps him. The robot is amazing for me because I can't talk to my classmates and teachers. I can feel this robot is, is myself. The robot um, has this amazing capacity to bring education and connection to students who are really not able to make, make it physically to school for whatever reason. Since 2018, more than 220 robots have been sent into classrooms across the country. Megan Gilmore co-founded the program Missing School in 2012 after her own son's illness resulted in lengthy hospital stays. She says before the robot trial, nearly half of the program's participants had no educational support whilst away from school and two-thirds had reduced social support and disrupted friendships. Social connection is one of the primary things that uh, is enabled by two-way digital connection into the classroom. After a successful three-year trial, the Missing School program has received a grant from the Tasmanian Community Fund to make the technology available to schools statewide and with a view to scale up to nationwide. Helping families drive their child's learning. Susan Ung, ABC News.